Hello everyone and welcome to uh, Chaos Has Crashed Into a Wall Formula Racing League. This is AFR. And I have crashed out, so I'll be joining Sakuri to run a little bit of a cast. Sakuri's been having some tech issues himself, so we'll just uh, be, uh, be running it off of my screen today. So the safety car that my exciting flip has brought out is still out. Camborn currently leads ahead of Fildo Reigns, RFX Rafa, Krusty Husky, Sheeran Sanity, Gator, Bobino, Galaxy, Brother John, Bulgarian Ninja, Pat Lassard, and GNXL. We've lost myself, Chaos, and Pax the Fox. And that's the race up to this point. So thus far, we've had stops from all the leading drivers, so only Camborn and Phil Rance have gone without a pit stop, putting Rafa in a very nice position. So, safety car remains out for one more lap, it looks like. Although Brother John has now joined in on the back. Oh, it says safety car in this lap. That's a very late call from the AI, but there you go. Camborn, slowing it to... Uh, wait, uh, it seems that the safety car is... Uh, is it in or is it out? All right. We're green. Cam leads it away. And just behind, we've got Cressy Husky. Sheer is making a little bit of a move here. And they thunder through the first corner. Sheer up a place on Gator. And Rafa up a place. Uh, or is he down a place? Oh, we've had another crash. Who was that? We've just lost Bulgarian Ninja. And it only took one corner after the safety car restart. And we are done. Yellow's out. Brother John having to take some evasive action there, but it looks like there's no further yellow flags coming up beyond that first sector. And I'm here. And you're back, and we have lost another driver. Bulgarian Ninja has departed. Oh no, he was doing so good too. It was just one corner after the safety car restart. A little bit of cold tires coming out of turn one. Oh, and that's a wide moment for Galaxy, and that allows Babino through. Now Pat Lassard as well. And both of the McLarens are through, but oh, big kick a moment there for Pat. Uh, just ahead of Galaxy. GNXL appears to be disconnected right now, but uh, he's currently in P10. Galaxy. Often, he he's a very fast, but often an impatient driver. Uh, but I can definitely see him starting to haul this back. But he needs to be careful to not get into fights like this. Bulgarian well, Ninja call a nice P3. Oh, Galaxy's a little bit wide through 130R. Alright, so right now Fildo Reigns is in an interesting situation in second place because he is on eight lap old soft tires, so those are not going to hold out much longer. Uh, Krusty and Sheer on brand new mediums. That indeed, yeah. Everyone uh, except for Pat Lassard outside of the top two made a pit under my safety car. Okay. So I'm just here throwing different strategies into disarray. Gator on the hearts, he can go to the end, probably. Sir, well, honestly, I feel like the mediums could pretty comfortably go to the end here. Oh, there's a Shield of oh. Rain losing the car. Oh, that's rough. He's getting back on one more car, and that's GNXL. But GNXL himself is also disconnected right now. Hmm. So let's have a little bit of a look at the leaders. That puts Krusty Husky up into P2, but also gives Camborn a nice little gap to play with. He's got two seconds and is outside of DRS range. But, well, he's still got another, you know, 10, maybe even 15 laps on those mediums. Gator, meanwhile, promoted to P4 by, uh, by Phil Lorraine's misfortune there. Uh, and it looks like uh, Phil did manage to avoid getting any uh, any harm done to his front wing. At least I haven't seen anything on it. And DRS is enabled once again. So 
Phil Dorain has to pit. Probably, yeah, he's going to pit. Yeah, here he comes. Eight Please laps in the car to come yeah. back in. Well, let's see. I mean, 17 laps. He's going to put on. Oh, he's going for the hards. He's going for the hards. So he's and going it to the does end. seem like he had some damage to his front wing since he just got that replaced. Meanwhile, Brother John, at the back of this little group, he is right behind Galaxy, and Galaxy hasn't been able to get through on either of the McLarens ahead of him. Galaxy also racing with a no-helmet strategy. The Mark Webber special. <laughs> Unless uh, I'm the only one getting that graphical glitch. Oh, Patlasar goes wide through the hairpin, and this puts Galaxy right on the back of him, but is he going to be able to do anything through 180R and Spoon here? It's close, it's close, but he's not quite close enough still. This might give him the opportunity to use a little bit of ERS since Galaxy has saved up a lot more than any of his opponents. Brother John, Rafa. meanwhile. Oh, yeah. Rafa might have a run on Gator here. He's just a little bit too far back there. But let's see. Brother John is right on Galaxy, actually. And we could see some, uh, some aggression from Brocho as Galaxy goes a little bit deep into the top of the Casio Triangle. But he holds a nice defensive line, and that's going to force Brother John to go all the way around. But now, he's got DRS, so does Galaxy. The two of them yeah. racing along side by side, but Brother John is not able to outdrag Galaxy up the inside of Pat Lassard. A little bit of bumping. Pat Lassard is thrown off the course, and that yeah. allows Brother John to take position from both of take them. both places, yeah. Actually, going into the outside here is better to overtake. Uh... You can, yeah, the inside. you can just not break at all. I mean, you are going to have the outside, sure, but you can carry so much speed on the outside here. Absolutely, and you can just carry that outside line into the inside of the first S's. Yeah. Alright, so that dropped Patlas are two positions there as Galaxy has been able to get through them um, on a uh, rather aggressive move into turn one. And now he's got to deal with Brother John, who has the same problem presenting Galaxy as before. Brother John is on the mediums. These hearts aren't going to come into their own for another 10 laps at least. Meanwhile, further up ahead, Rafa is getting a little close. And we've got a yellow flag out as that's Galaxy. Galaxy's out. I looked away for a moment and Galaxy is out of the race safety of Spoon. Car. That's the safety car and that is what Phil Reigns and GNXL needed to get back into this one. Cam... Cam just got handed a gift. Well, he is still going to lose a lot of positions here. But he can easily run 16 laps up. Well, here's the problem. He has to do softs because he started on the mediums. Yeah. Cam's right. strategy is going to need another pit stop. So he needed more than that. If he'd been running softs, that would have been excellent. But 12 laps on softs, that just doesn't go. Oh, we've also got a pit stop. Bobino putting on some mediums to take him comfortably to the end. And Phil Dorain's just going to be thanking his lucky stars that he's going to be able to get back into this. Honestly, if I were him, I'd just shed these hards. Oh, let's see. Yeah, I'd shed the hards right now and go on to mediums because he's not going to be able to get full use out of those, even if he is able to catch up to the back of everyone here. Suzuka's not that bad on tires. Like, you can pull off a, a soft medium on soft. And here he comes. Yeah, Phil Dorain's realizing, hey, you know what? These hearts are not it. Let me put on a couple of mediums and take those. Here we go. The yellow ball tires. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, I don't call. have the I don't have even the game's tire life estimates to go oh, by. Okay. So. Um. Well, uh, yeah. Looking at that, I mean, I feel that you can pretty comfortably go the full race distance on hearts. Galaxy. Oh, yeah. Uh, Rather upset with uh, with Pat there, although I say that Pat has just as much reason to be upset with uh, with uh, with Galaxy for that move up the inside. But we'll have a look at that afterwards. Right now, there's ten drivers left in the race, so everyone who finishes is going to be getting some points there, which is something that I'm saying through gritted teeth. <laughs> Can't believe it. Uh, I practiced so long for that one, but oh well, it's up, guys. All right, so uh, right now we've got Phil Reigns trying to make his way back around. Yeah, he's going to arrive at the back of the pack with nice warm tires, too. 
Oh, absolutely, yeah, because we've got at least one more lap under the safety car. Gator just absolutely cranking those hards. He's going to have to leverage his track position here. Uh, and take the fact that uh, he's got five laps on his hards. He's going to have no issues. Everyone else around him is going to be on 20 lap old mediums, which aren't going to be as good as 20 lap old hards by the time we get to the finish of this race. Mm. These guys leading on mediums, they might have to pit again. Absolutely. Uh, unless they get some safety cars that allow them to uh, drag things out a little bit. Free. Yeah. So, Brother John also looking pretty nice uh, with six lap old tires. Pat Lassard currently on a nine lap, so Pat is going to probably have to pit once more. He might be going for a late race soft, uh, which could work out nicely if another safety car comes out. And thus far, you know, uh, we've been plenty clumsy, so safety cars have been coming with some regularity this race. Although we tend to we tend to get rid of the roof rafts, such as myself early on, so you know, got fewer opportunities now. All right, and Camborn on those softs, what is he going to be able to do? So we were talking about this being a big gift for him, but he's going to need to capitalize on it. He's only going to have a little while while these are working, and he's going to have to do another pit stop. Still, uh, Soft Soft is going to give him a very, very pacey car, so I could definitely see Cam getting a podium here. Alright, this will certainly be the uh, the lap where the safety car makes its way in. Yeah, if he can pull some overtaking maneuvers... That's the thing. I mean, the problem is, if you don't overtake you got to add at least 1.4 seconds to the delta to the front for every position you're down. Mm -hmm. So that's about anywhere from 10 to 14 seconds behind Krusty. And that's assuming everyone is on the train, of more or less. Indeed. Well, Which uh, never happens. I say we get our eyes on Camborn and just see what he is able to do here. Because if Cam can make up a couple of positions on the restart, just take some really, really tight lines through the S's, maybe cut up on the inside of the uh, Dunlop curve, there's lots of opportunities for a fresh, tired soft to get moves done on people running the mediums. Yeah. Safety car in this lap. Indeed, so we're going to have Krusty Husky in the Alfa Romeo taking us away. Number 21 I'm enters into the Casio. Oh, he's Here, waiting. And, uh, oh, there we go. He just waited enough to force Sheer to, to have a bit of a pause. And then he absolutely catches Sheer napping. Opens wow, up almost a, a nice second trick. gap. And Rafa might have a run on Gator here. Indeed, he might. He's very close. He's late. taking a look up the inside, but Gator looks... Whoa, we got oh, a little Gator bit of desync there. Gator is teleporting everywhere. Yeah, I'm seeing the same as you, but Camborn is using that to make up a position because we have seen uh, uh, Pat Lassard lose two places off of the restart here. GNXL right behind Camborn, but Cam is now right on the back of Gator, who seems to have stabilized once again, but... Oh, here we go. We we're, were saying, going oh up through Dunlop. Oh, he that packs is. out of it. That was risky. That was risky, but there's not many opportunities coming up after that, so that could have been a very, very good move if he'd have gotten himself into fifth. But opportunities still await. Meanwhile, Brother John holding it in fourth position. Camborn takes it nice and deep through the hairpin. And we got a spin. It's Pat Lassard. We've lost Pat. And now there's only nine racers left out of the 14 who started. We what, are down uh, in McLaren. And another safety, safety car is called. Car. Okay, Cam, go right. in the pits. Cam, the pit for mediums. Yeah, that's the move. And for that matter, everybody, everyone should pit. probably be pitting here. But that puts Rafa in a terrible spot because look who's in front of him. Yeah. Rafa is not going to be able to do that. So either Sheer or Rafa, um, I hope they're talking to each other right now because I can see Rafa and Sheer sitting there in the AlphaTauri chat room. They've got to figure out what they are doing very quickly. Similar situation for Camborn because Brother John is also in an Alpine. And if I were Brother John, I'd be thinking, hey, just put on a fresh set of mediums. Then again, Brother John could be looking at this and saying, if we get another safety car. Sheer is continuing. Could... Yes, he is. Oh, it's you know what? It's Rafa. Okay, Brother John in, though. Brother John is in. Camborn stays up. GNXL in. Phil Rain stays out. So. 
It's about an even sorting when we've got three racers in the pit, and those are Krusty Husky, Brother John, and GNXL. The extra large genie. Well, that's very interesting. Indeed I it is. I'm shocked. I'm shocked Cam didn't throw in the pit. Well, yeah. I mean, that's, that's playing with fire. All right. GNXL making his way up. And now he's going to have this. Honestly, putting on the softs, I feel that that's a borderline move on lap 15. Like, that's going to be struggling at the end. And this means Camborn, if he's thinking the same thing as the others, Cam may very well be saying, hey, you know what? I can I can take these for 14 laps. Yeah, yeah, I can do that. I'm Cam. That's like my thing. He cannot. The, can the softs go that, that, that far? Uh, well... I mean, Field Rain a... lost the car with eight laps on the softs, so they, they must have not been feeling great. Yeah. I mean, Husky's on the softs. Okay, so everybody's on the softs. Husky, yes, exactly, Burnett, yeah. Everyone Robert who John. pitted put on softs. That's what I'm thinking about. And uh, how many how many laps did Cam did under safety car anyway? So, like... <laughs> well, he, he did might one have, clean lap. He, he might have to... He might be going to the end here. You know who is certainly not going to the end is Sheer and or Rafa. Yeah, that's going to be... Well, hmm. I mean, they could potentially. Gator actually finds himself in a very, very appealing position now. I mean, there's no way Cam doesn't take the lead of this race once the DRS gets open. Like, it's... It's just a matter of can he does it. I mean, I mean if you look at it... Krusty's only two positions behind Cam as well, so. Alright, one more lap under the safety car. Upcoming. So that's going to be good for everyone who's trying to eke out life on these tires. So that's possibly the move of Krusty, GNXL, and Brother John. So nine racers left and it still is very unclear who's going to take this win right now we do have sheer who has track position and that's going to count for a lot and he's been able to save a lot of tire life on these mediums like rafa is sitting only around like 20 percent wear or thereabouts so i think rafa uh, assuming he's in a similar situation to sheer they're going to be laughing in terms of tire wear they're not going to get anywhere near to 60 percent this race Maybe up to into, into the 50s, perhaps. So that's quite manageable. Gator also, if, if Gator can counteract the slow pace of the hards, then he can definitely be a podium threat, as he has been several times this season. It's about how, yeah, it's, it, it, it's going to be interesting to see how manageable those old mediums are going to be. Certainly. Compared to these guys... Coming well, behind them on the fresh softs. So the big question is how wide are we going to see Bobino and Fildo Reigns making their cars against Krusty, GNXL, and Brother John? We know that Krusty is very, very pacey, so I think Krusty has a good opportunity to make some offensive maneuvers happen. And of course, Krusty has been previously leading this race. So Krusty's kind of in the same boat as Camborn, except Camborn played his cards just a little bit earlier, and he's been rewarded with 4th place rather than 7th place because of it. And all these guys, ERS, completely full. Yeah, there's, there's going to be some heavy, heavy deployment coming up. Safety car is certainly in this lap. Yeah, we're going to have a 10-lap a, a shootout. For there we go. The, it's the, it's the sprint the race, race for all the marbles. Only only nine drivers are even going to have the chance to score points now since we lost Pat before getting up to the uh, to the minimum distance. They're coming into the KCO Triangle now, the final downhill chicane, before they're able to set it off. So here we go. We'll ride on board with Rafa and P2. He's right behind Sheer. Sheer's got a bit of a gap, so Rafa's actually allowed a bit of a gap to form to his teammate. Meanwhile, Brother oh, yeah. John is able to jump GNXL towards the back. Oh, Cam, Cam's right on the gearbox of Gator. That he is, but Gator has been so slippery. Gator is tuned for high speed, and Cam has to back out of it. 
Bobino just behind getting a very nice view of this, and Phil Lorenz has already been overtaken by Krusty Husky. So let's see what Husky can do. He's got a view of everyone up ahead of him, so this is the car to be on right now. Cam right. running a wide line through the S's, trying to get around Gator, but Gator running a powerful and effective defense. He's a little bit wide, though. Oh, he's going to go up for it. Up the inside, we talked right about here. the pass at Dunlop. Oh, and they go, they go too wide, and Gator actually t goes so tight, he gets forced into taking a time penalty uh, because he was trying to hold on to that instead of backing onto someone who'd taken the advantageous outside line. Now it's up to yeah, Krusty yeah. Husky. He's got some uh, traction advantage, shall we say, on Bobino and Gator. But is he going to be able to catch Bobino before Spoon? There's not really an amazing overtaking opportunity Now, here. are the Alpha Tauris going to fight each other? That's the question. Indeed. Well, it looks like Rafa is pretty darn close to Sheer. Sheer definitely got the advantage on the restart. But now Rafa well, is think, coming in very close. I Rafa's go they're going to go too wide into 130R. Yeah, yeah, they go and around the outside through yeah, even cause before. Yeah, because Rafa, Rafa was burning and the shear was not. Also, Gator has completely expended his ERS this lap. He's already used maximum single lap oh, deployment. Oh, he's he he's de derated a car. Yes, he has. There's oh, nothing more that he can spend there. Uh, so that's gonna okay, hurt. Cam on the inside, here. in the inside of shear, on the outside. And there we Sheer go. Covers that off. And Gator getting a nice view of this. Oh. And Gator, ooh, up the Sheer inside, side by side. The rear gets back at him. Yeah, Sheer and Cam, I mean, this is the fight. Absolutely, and Cam has so much more traction, but he is burning up these tires with all of this aggression. Meanwhile, Gator behind. He is the Gator strategy. He doesn't necessarily need to be swift over a long time. He just needs to hold on to this and then be ready to pounce. Grab a... Tasty, tasty gazelle and haul it into the water. Keep on coming up with weird food metaphors uh, when I'm casting, don't I? Uh, it must be a thing about me crashing. Anyways, Krusty Husky, still not able to get through on Bobino. Uh, but we've got a big DRS train. No one is outside of DRS range except for GNXL, who is disconnected and thus basically out of the race at this point. So here we go. It's RFX Rafa leading. He is nine tenths ahead of Sheer Insanity, and Camboard is right on Sheer. Now, what can Cam do? He's going to have to be saving, but Sheer, they've all expended. We talked about saving up that ERS. It's all gone, and <laughs> no one has left anything to spare here. Oh, yeah. Cam's got him on traction. Wow. Oh, He's wow. Look shit. at that. So much overspeed. Sheer might try to throw it around the outside, but no way he's making this. That, <laughs> yeah, that's that's not a move that is happening. Bobino is still holding off Krusty Husky, and Krusty's advantage is slowly evaporating. He absolutely needs to get through. Krusty needs to make some offense happen, Scurry. Yeah, he is not doing his tires any favors staying behind, uh, behind Bobino. But right now, we've got the situation where the slowest cars are going to be right at the back. The, sorry, the slowest cars are at the front, the fastest wonder, are at the back. I wonder if Krusty's got damage. Uh, I'm not seeing any damage on Krusty. Nothing oh, visual. Oh, he rotates oh, the there. car on the, on the inside of the Ooh, hairpin. That's what he you has, have to do. The rotation speed on the, on the Alfa Romeo is so much better. And just being able to get the uh, the acceleration off faster than Bobino is on six lap old mediums. Bobino demoted to sixth place. Fildo reigns right behind Bobino. And then we got Brother John, who is staying close. And Brother John might be able to vulture style pick off a couple of slowing cars in front of him. Krusty right on Gator. Gator's in trouble. Krusty's going to throw it. Where's he going to go? Around the outside. Going to try and ride out the outside of the Casio Triangle. That makes him, oh, very, very aggressive as he pushes through there. But Gator is forced to cede that position now as Krusty manhandles his way around the second half of the Casio Triangle. And that's P4 for Krusty. Babino as well, overspeed on Gator. Gator is now starting to feel the pain of those hards not having the same grip of his competitors' vehicles. So it seems that uh, up front, it seems that Cam cannot close to Rafa's uh ER, DRS range, but sheer can. Well, can. we'll see. 
it all so comes Sheer, down. Sheer had the DRS on Cam in the last straight. Well, it's all going to come down. Keep in mind, there's only one DRS zone here. Uh, so it all comes down to how well can you get out of Spoon. And how well can you take 130R? These cars are completely flat through 130R. It's not at all a difficult corner for them. But you can see Cam has now closed within a tenth. Sorry, within uh, within a second. And Sheer is yep. just struggling at the edge. So that situation might find itself reversed as Rafa is going to have Cam all over his tail in just a New York minute. Could be a minute anywhere, really. It's just a figure of speech. All right, Cam board. Going through 130R, and he is I just think, within. I think Cam is running too much down for it, potentially. Oh, Sheer made a mistake. Sheer's two seconds behind Cam. And that leaves Rafa vulnerable to Cam. Bobino up on the inside of Fildo Reigns, and that's an and important pass for position. Krusty's going to get Sheer right here. Yeah, not a contest. So Sheer and making a mistake somewhere around Spoon. And now Rafa. Rafa is the last of the uh, of the podium sitters who are on the old tires. Camborn and Krusty yeah. Husky are here, and what are they going to be able to do? Cam is now all over the back of Rafa. Rafa is going to find himself under a very very rough attack. So, oh, and oh, he had a moment. Rafa, big moment. Big losing, moment. Losing losing traction in the rear. And look at this. Cam is now right That's in there within four tenths. To save the car. But this is actually a little bit unfortunate for Cam because this was earlier than he wanted to get close. Now this is going to allow Krusty Husky to close in on him because Krusty is going to have better speed than Cam for the time being. So eight drivers remain present or connected to this race. Here we go. Nice tight line. Camborn has a little bit of a kick and that allows Rafa to extend out to over half a second. And that is what Rafa needed to defend himself into the KCO Triangle. Krusty Husky now 1.5 back. Sheer holding yeah, on to the Krusty back. Krusty is, is uh, shaving that advantage. And Little Gator, middle. by the way, uh, still holding within DRS range of Sheer. So Gator is still in a pretty nice spot because he is the one person who's not going to worry at all about tires. Here we go. This is Cam's first real attempt to attack Rafa. A little weave left, right, left. Is he going to throw it up inside? No, he's not. Last second brinksmanship, but Rafa defends. But what did it cost him? He's down to 16% ERS, but Cam doesn't have much more to speak of. We got a oh, yellow in sector one. We've had a spin. It is Fildo. Is it Fildo? No, it is Brother John. Brother John. So Brother John drops off of this big train, and that's going to be very, very difficult unless somehow another safety car comes out. But I. You know, I'm not going to say anything about that, lest we commentators curse them. Okay, so uh, Cam has got 30, 35% ERS now. He's and got Krusty. the most ERS out of everyone. Critically, Krusty is trying to close in, so Krusty's going to be empty once he catches yeah. DRS. All right. But then you can sit on DRS for a couple of laps and just recharge. So Cam gets a slightly uh, slightly better launch here, um, but he was further behind this lap. And Rafa is going to be dealing with some aging tires, but that's exactly the same case for Camborn, who's going to have it worse than every other soft runner right now. So Cam's advantage is just dwindling, and his ability to attack Rafa goes very, very tight through the final corner. But this time, Cam's got a real attempt here. Oh, Cam here is we go. going for it. He's going up the inside. And that's all it's going to take. Oh, contact. I think that that was some contact between him and Rafa. Is there any damage to Rafa's front wing? But Cam has been able to secure first position. And more importantly, Krusty does not have DRS on this guy. So if Cam can clear Rafa, that's it. And it looks like Rafa is still able to stay very, very close to Camborn here. And now yeah. Rafa is going to think, okay, I just need to force this guy into a mistake. I just need to wait for his tires to get yeah. bad. Give him but three Cam laps and then like, pass him. Uh, Cam is like an experienced driver. It will be he very hard to, to, to press him into a mistake. That's true. Cam is Mr. Consistency. Uh, we've seen it time and time again. He shows up and he gets results. 
And, you know, uh, this is exactly the sort of thing that he needs if he wants to take a win here. But look, this Krusty Husky is getting close. I did not know uh, Cam was as aggressive as uh, as I've come to learn this season. But I guess I never watched him race, aside from racing him. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Cam, it, Cam is calculated with his aggression. Yeah, I can see that. Oh, Rafa's very close. I think Cam is just running way too much downforce. Or as much much more than these guys are. But that's going to be critical. By the way, Rafa, his tires still aren't even at 35%. Uh, actually, he's got, he's got two at 35% now. But they aren't at 40% yet. So la the tires last too long in this game. Okay, Up so the inside! Cam, Cam deciding to, to, to defend the outside, that's very interesting. Well, we talked about the outside being a more advantageous line there, yeah. but you can still get bullied a little bit by someone hurling it up the inside. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm looking at these guys tonight. I'm kind of changing my opinion on that. They're they're parking the, in the inside. Oh, Cam having a snap oversteer. And Krusty is now within DRS range with three laps to go. No penalties for any of the top four racers. Gator has a time penalty, but has opened up a three-second gap to fill the range. So really... It's kind of a, a three-driver race right now between Krusty, Cam, and Rafa for the win here. All three of them could conceivably get it. I don't really see Sheer being able to get back here, but he might be able to pick up a podium if one of these guys gets a little bit too aggressive. Meanwhile, Bobino is chasing down Fildo Reigns in their battle for sixth place. Keep in mind, Fildo Reigns and Bobino are probably going to be the guys with the very best tires at the end of the race because they're on mediums. It'll only be up to 14 laps by the time they finish. Everyone else is really going to be struggling, so if they were just a little bit closer, they might be able to make a move here. I think that Camborn has probably hit the limit of his uh, of his tires. Rafa is still feeling very comfortable on his 18-lap old mediums, while Cam, those 12-lap old softs, are looking rough. You take a look at them, there's little chunks out of them. They're, uh, they're definitely at the very edge of what you can do. Oh, Ooh. and look at that. That's Sheer making... Gator on Sheer. Yeah, we talked about Those Gator. Those car tires are coming back. Yeah, absolutely. And it's not even so much coming back as the mediums have passed their prime and hards yeah, just true. keep on chugging. 18-lap uh, yeah. old mediums are no longer that good. Also, I see Krusty Husky lost a little bit of time there. I think Krusty might have gone for some offense and... Uh, I had a blow up in his face just a little bit because he's dropped back outside the DRS range and is going to have to fight back. I've, but look at that! I've seen him. I've seen him lose the car in qualifying at the top of the hill. This car that he's driving today is not super stable going up the hill at the end of sector one on the left hander. Uh, so, but he's he's recovered the time in no time. Look at that. So two and a half laps remaining in this race. We've got Rafa just barely one second ahead. Cressy just barely one second behind of Camborn. And Gator, who is actually looking all right here. His Aston Martin is ready to try and make a move if any of these guys make a mistake. But at 2.3 seconds back and also leading a resurgent sheer, Gator might find himself under a little bit of attack. But let's see what happens here. As Camborn comes through, he has DRS. So too does Krusty Husky with a double DRS. Rafa moving to the outside of the track to defend. And Krusty sets another fastest lap here. But That's no moves point. to be made here. Sheer two la closes last up. Last two laps. There we go. There's only going to be two more times across that. Uh, and the second time of those is going to be a checkered flag. So, Sheer, right on the back of Gator, and let's have a look at the penalties. Eight seconds of penalties for your Gator. Okay, you know what? I take back what I said there. I thought he was still at three seconds, but I forgot about the five for speeding in the pit lane earlier. Oh, that's... So, Gator is actually going to drop uh, all the way down to eighth place here. Uh, actually, seventh. All the way down to seventh place here. So, the long fight on the hearts is not going to pay off for Gator today. So let's see. We got Krusty Husky, who is the closest racer on track right now to anyone else. And he is chasing down Cambor. And Cam is now just feeling his tires, just weeping. They are they are struggling. Let's have a look. Well, uh, I'm not seeing them looking too bad in the animation. 
but you can just imagine how slippery they are at this point. Now oh, the yeah. key thing... Ru I think Krusty's got him. Well, not really. Mm. He's Krusty's got... in trouble too. But this Cam is, is now really defending. the last. This is the last attempt he could do, but he's no, there's there, there, there's there. still there's still moves into the Casio triangle. I could absolutely see a last lap lunge from Krusty, especially having seen how Krusty has been racing a little bit earlier in this race. You know, not afraid to to be a little bit elbows out. Uh, shall I say, being assertive and saying, "No, I do have right to the space on the track, sir." So Cam is going to have a real feisty driver behind him who would love to pick up second place from him. But Rafa is now looking very secure in first place. 20 lap old mediums from his first uh, opportunity for a pit stop. That's going to be what takes him to the finish of this race. I bet uh, Cam's tires think the race is over. <laughs> Cam's tires think that, uh, that, you know, that this should have been finished <laughs> several laps earlier. But... Cam does actually have a little bit more ERS, so even if he doesn't get the same acceleration, he should be able to dump all of his ERS, and that's what he should be doing right now. Let's see what happens. Yeah, there we go. ERS deployment. Oh, he only used to... Yeah, there we go. ERS deployment now. Krusty is very, very close behind Camborn as they race down through the back straight. Krusty, three-tenths off. 29 hundredths. 25 hundredths. He's going to have to throw a move here, but he's out. He's derated. There's nothing left. He tries to cut the inside, probably got a warning there, but... Oh, goodness! Oh. <laughs> that was almost a Gator taking advantage on the last corner there. But look at that, Gator's going to drop behind Sheer. He's going to drop behind Fildo Reigns. And, oh, or is he? Fildo Reigns actually might have a penalty himself that drops All him right. behind. So Babino takes fifth by keeping so it clean. Rafa wins the race. Dominant drive from him. Cam, P2. And, he hey, got look. Hung in there. And Krusty, P3. And GNXL was able to actually reconnect and get back in, so he was disconnected for a decent chunk of the race, but he was able to get back in and uh, finish okay. under his own control, which is nice to see. Driver of the day, Cam, I'd say that. I'd yeah, say that Cam, Cam ran a bold strategy. Uh, and it, w it defended him second place, so neither you nor I thought that that was the move. But he made yeah. it work. He, he yeah. made aggressive he almost... moves. He almost had Rafa, but Rafa just had the pace today. It he had Rafa hard. for a moment, but the tires were on Rafa's side there. Like, he was able to make the move, but Rafa was like, whatever, I've, I'm on mediums, you're on 12 lap old softs, and you got three laps to go, buddy. Yeah, so Rafa look, the Rafa's looking good for this championship, man. Certainly is, and honestly, like, Rafa is always a threat to win any race that he's in. It's just the inconsistency. Rafa will be win, podium, win, retirement, retirement, win, you know? It's, it's hard to hard to build a championship yeah. off of that. Yeah. And true. I say that with full respect to Rafa, and also as someone whose strategy is 11th retirement, 11th, 11th retirement. That's funny. <laughs> well, there you have it. Rafa, right, Camborn, Krusty, Sheer, Babino, Gator, Fildo, Reigns, GNXL, and Brother John comes through uh, with the last point scoring position of 9th, Pat Lassard, and everyone else. Did not make it to the finish. And with that, thank you for tuning in. And if you uh, are a driver, you're watching, come race with us next week. What up? And what are, what's what's uh, what's going on next week? It's uh it's Singapore, is it not? It is Singapore, and I might be racing that one. So there you hear it, Sukuri, uh, the Sukuri, gonna be racing with you guys <laughs> next week. Yeah. And uh, yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, Thanks, everyone, for right. watching the uh, the commentary that started when I crashed out of the race. Thank you for doing that, sir. And everyone, thank Chaos for doing that, because if it was dependent on me, we would get nothing. So, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're all you're all welcome for me messing up the race with that safety car. That's funny. All right, all you guys, right. have a good night. Till next time. <laughs>